Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first Feed the Beast tutorial on the good old coke oven. The coke oven, first thing you need to build these things is, I think it's 26 coke oven bricks. Um, to get the coke oven bricks, it's 5 sand each and 4 normal bricks. Just to get the normal bricks, just chuck clay into an oven. Okay, once you get all your coke, bro coke oven bricks over, I should say, blah 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 blah. Just start laying them down in a 3x3. Three second row is only eight, you could leave the middle one empty, and then just cover up the top with another 3x3, three three. and now you've got a coke oven, and you can tell because you've got this new little image. If you right click on it, you've got an interface like this, what you do is you just chuck coal on this side. It's a very, very long process to make this stuff, but it doesn't need power, uh, it'll take about two hours to do a stack of 64. Here you can see that it coal produces 4k EU uh, a tick, I mean at 10 EU a tick, and 3.2k heat in a solid fuel furnace rod, which is which is okay. But if we go over to here, which has got some coke coal in it, you can see it produces 6.4k heat, which is significantly better. Um, now, even if you even if you're not using it for fuel, say you're just using it in a furnace, um, it will produce. Uh, It'll be able to produce 32 ingots of one coal coke, where one coal only does eight, so it's going to be better. Now, over here, I've got a setup where I've got two uh, coke ovens um, feeding coal coke into two steam boilers. Um, so, you only need one to do that. So, this, you, see, you can use them for power generation as well. Uh, over here, uh, I've actually got three coke ovens going to one liquid steam boiler. Uh, the reason why I've got three is because coke ovens produce uh, creatine oil, but it, it's not as powerful. It's actually about uh, the same as coal. Uh, and as you can see, we've got some going in there now. And I think that's about it. Um, so this creatine oil, you can either use it to power a steam boiler, or you can store it. Um, if you do want to store it, uh, use it later on for railcraft items. Um, but generally, if you're going to use it for a power source, you're going to need to produce a lot of it. Um, I generally just use it as a startup fuel to start my steam boilers. Um, it would take a lot of coal, coal coke ovens to actually have one of these running at full power. All right, I think that's about it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, comment, like, uh, if you want to do any requests, that's okay, uh, message me, <laughs> I've got no idea what I'm doing, gonna do now, <laughs> See, until next time, thanks guys.